In this series, we will go through the process of building a customized Linux image with Yocto for PolarFire SoC and using one of the built development tools to move a GPIO in the microprocessor subsystem to switch on one of the LEDs on the Icicle kit. During this example, we will use some utilities like terminal software to interact with board through a serial console. You can use your favorite one. Win32 Disk Imager on Windows Hosts or DD Command Line Utility on Linux to write the new image we are going to create. We will also explain in the next sections how to use the microchip tools to rebuild a reference design from sources. But if you are just interested in updating the Linux image, you can skip them and concentrate on the Yocto ones. In case you need it, you can go back any time to the factory default using the single programming image file available on GitHub and FP Express 12.5. All source files and binaries can be found on Microchip GitHub. For an extensive description of the GitHub page, please watch the video PolarFire SoC GitHub Introduction. A link to that video is available in the description below. Specifically, you will find the PolarFire SoC board support package, Heart Software Services Code, also referred to as Zero Stage Bootloader, Icicle Kit Libero Reference Design, and the Reference Factory Image. Relevant documentation can also be found in the description below. We will make use of the register map document to find the address where the GPIOs are mapped on the bus. Let's do a quick check also on the hardware requirements. Here is the list of the hardware used in these videos. The Icicle Kit board, including an embedded Flash Pro programmer, a Linux build machine or a virtual machine with at least 8 gigabytes of RAM and 100 gigabytes of hard disk free space, an optional external Flash Pro programmer, two micro USB cables, three if you also use the embedded Flash programmer. In our next video, we will learn more about Yocto and its layer structure.